Hello there, it is I, your homie, your boy, Octocruel, and I'm here with my brother. Hey, it's me, Curtis, here again. He's here again, and today's a special day, because the YouTube is going to hear this for the first time, because the introduction might be quite long this time, but we have a P.O. box. Yes, yep. a surprise! Uh, I don't say, guys, honestly, I just did it on the Patreon, because, like, I don't know if people on the YouTube care, but look, we got boxes! Yay! We got boxes, these boxes come from Mr. Kenneth Steele, who we shouted out in our... Last video, actually. Really? Our boy? Oh! Yep, Kenneth! Yep. So I'm just going to try and open this box. I'll my, do it with my bare hands. You're going to do it? Look at these. Look at, these. All right, look, look at those guns. Go no. Silly Amazon. You suck. There's two. There's two of them. Here, you Is open there, like, this one. one. For each? Like, I guess this? so. You open that one, I'll open this one. This is interesting. No way. No. Oh my god. D yeah. Hey, go, look, look, this is on the inside. It says, seize the day. Are That's you? actually really cool. Dude, it sucks. I wish we could have put our tea in this tonight. Oh my god. Anything with like an octopus is like free points with me, man. You just see how many octopus stuff I have around my desk. Oh my god, it's so cool. We also have a second one. Oh. Uh, from Kenneth again, I believe. Yes. No, again? Yes. Oh my but god. But look at it. Like, Kenneth, dude, you gotta look at this. I gotta show you, Kenneth. Look, at, look what they did to your box. Look at this. Who the hell shipped this? It looks like it got kicked. Uh, these delivery guys, man, sometimes, dude. But we're having fun. We're, we're having a good time. Oh, dude, I'm like so excited, man. Next video, I'm using this. Oh, yeah, 100%. Same here. Oh, such a good mug, too. Dude, he sent us a bunch of toys for our dogs. Oh, my, oh god. my god. That is so nice. Mug, why? Dude, there's so many of them. Oh, my god. <laughs> there's Whoa. so many. Wait, what is this thing? Oh, my god. What the fuck she's is got, this? She's got a raccoon. She's got a skunk. Dude, look at him. She's looking at them. You want one, sweetie? <laughs> she looks confused. Dude, I wish I could show the mug why. I don't think it's gonna stay. <laughs> Never underestimate my shoulders. All right, thank you, Kenneth, again for the amazing mugs. Thank you, sir. With the octopuses on it, like we dude, will be using them for the next video, one hundred percent. Don't you worry, buddy. Yes, I As love these it. These are actually really cool it's mugs. So cool, and thank you for thinking about our dogs. Yeah, that was really sweet of you. That bro. is super sweet. The dogs are going to love it. The movie we we're watching is going to be American History X. Ooh. I told the Patreon, you're getting two movies. One that I have... Two that I have seen, and two that Curtis and I both haven't seen. So, it, they chose a movie, American History X, which is the movie I have seen. And he hasn't. He hasn't seen it at all. No. I've only seen it once, and I, 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 I know what happens-ish, but I don't remember all of it, because I was like, I don't know, it was like four or five years ago, something like that. And, you know, I'm old and I'm dumb, so I don't remember much. <laughs> so we're going to watch that today. I'm very excited to introduce Curtis's movie because it has a lot of great themes. And it's a very, uh, it's got some deep moments, dude. I'm telling you, some emotional moments, too. And, like, yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, man. I've already cried like a bitch in two movies, man. So the third one's not going to make much of a difference anymore. It's, it's, it's good. And on that note, we are going to watch American History X right now. Now. Alright, home invasion, let's go. Oh no, there's taking his car. This is gonna be awkward. There's a black guy outside, he's breaking into your car. Long God damn! Whoa, what? Okay. Jeez. What an introduction, huh? Yeah. Dude, he has great aim. He went out with his mother a few times. It was, was over three years, years ago. Jeez. It was nothing. Like, yeah, nothing really. It's an impeccable that shot paper. there. Jeez. Bob, uh, it's a travesty. Arguing for Hitler as a civil rights hero. 
You've got to draw the line. You know, Murray, you actually did this to yourself. You told them that they could do a report on any book that related to the struggle for civil rights in plain English. I am not disputing the fact that the child is confused. This racist propaganda, this mind camp psychobabble, he learned this nonsense, Murray, and he can unlearn it too. I will not give up on this child yet. Ooh, that was interesting. I agree. It's not, something you can unlearn. Well, not just that, but I've never heard somebody say that. Mm hmm Right? What's it gonna be, Danny? What's working to me? This petty crap you're pulling. Mein Kampf? I should expel you. Go ahead. Well, you don't think I could handle it? No, I think the street would kill you. Your rhetoric and your propaganda aren't going to save you out there. I'm your history teacher from now on. We will call this class American History X. Tell that teacher I'm fucking cheating. Is that what's happening? I never cheated in my life. I ain't going to do nothing. Oh, that's, that's even harsher, man. Uh-oh. What's up? Oh my god. Dude, he did not give a shit. Oh my god. No, he doesn't give a shit, my god. He handled that in a way I didn't expect. I'm realizing I forget a lot of this movie, damn. No, but it's interesting he's not prone to violence like his brother is. His brother seems like a very violent human being. Good to see you, pal. Good morning. Gentlemen, this here is Dr. Bob Sweeney. He's principal over at Venice Beach High. Now, three years ago, a local kid named Derek Vineyard was sent up for murdering a couple of Crips who were trying to jack his car. Earlier today, L.A. County firefighter Dennis Vineyard was shot and killed battling a blaze at a suspected Compton drug den. We're at the Vineyard home right now, and uh, Lieutenant Vineyard's oldest son, Derek, has agreed to uh, talk with us for a moment. Derek, if you could come down here, please, for just a second. What does this have to do with the murder of your father? Because my father was murdered doing his job! Putting out a fire in a fucking nigger neighborhood he shouldn't have even given a shit about. He got shot by a fucking drug dealer who probably still collects a welfare check. Father was shot putting, putting out, out, a, out fire. a fire. Dude, that probably furthered his hatred. If something happens oh, to him. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, Things God. Could get very ugly down by the beach. Gee, you, know, you see how, like, they try to teach you it's based on all the races. It's not in fact that it's poverty. Yeah. Pass the ball. He's <laughs> fucking jungle bunny. He does a spin move every time. Every time. This one's for you, boy. Boy, motherfucker, huh? Lucky motherfucker, I'm through monkeying around with your fucking ass. Come on, guys. I can't cover this. Come on, guys. Help me out here. The big fucking Dude, mouth, sir. Don't bet money if you can't pay. Yeah. No money, no money for these courts. And not just today, for good. If you win, we will walk away. But if we win, no bitching, no fighting. Right here in front of everybody, you pack up your shit and get your black asses out of here. That's more than money. That's not playing on the court ever again. Like, that's, uh... Yes, as you said, more than money, dude. That's, uh... The stakes are actually really high. Bro, you ain't gonna do shit. Like, let's no, be dude. real. Come on, man. We're, we're looking at you, and we know you can't jump that high. No. They want to win, bro. Woo, buddy, calm down. That was a good elbow. Damn. Dude, I feel like he's just gonna go and give it right back. Something like the same. I mean, how could he not? Ah, can you blame him for being pissed? Derek's just saying he seems very prone to violence. You know, you poke the bear and he will attack. He's weird, man. But then again, like, these black guys are watching this guy walk around a swastika, man. It's just like, you know, that alone is insulting. Yeah, it's... Oh, okay. Just pushed him over. And the fact that this guy just walks around with a giant swastika on his chest. Like, jeez! Oh.
you, you did nothing. It ain't your house. God, I hate those kind of people. Right? They don't do shit and they take credit. They vast in the glory in which isn't their own. But I guess that's why he was so good at making people follow him is because just like he got shit done. Yeah. The Derek guy anyhow. seems like he's uh three years with very him. smart. Just wonder. He's very like makes oh. you wonder what pushed him. Right, like that's what I'm thinking. What pushed him? Oh, come on, give the guy a break. What's the matter? Are you too big to give me a hug, tough guy? No, man. I just know you're gonna, you know, need someone to look after you while you adjust all this space. Yeah, right. <laughs> How you doing? How's school? It's good. Yeah, it's good. You gotta do something about that hair, man. That dude's gotta go. And yeah, I don't know. The girls like it, so I'm gonna grab it. Is there a phone? I in the still back? believe that I'll tattoos is something you know. You gotta wait for. He's a young kid, dude. Yeah, like a decision like Tattoo's that. Tattoos way too soon for a kid that young. Oh god, that's a it. huge flag. Ugh. Uh, Jeez. Is that more of a banner? I don't know. What? We're taking down the Zog machine. Two by two by two. It doesn't even go hard. It's that. shit. Dude, he's jamming out. How like, is he not getting well, his ass what? kicked? Blurring that out of his fucking care. car. Care that tonight. Let alone mm -hmm. that, it's just a garbage song. Kids, My boy. God. <laughs> he's jamming out like it's the greatest thing ever. <laughs> Trash. Hey, dude, there's no way you get you drive F, like no, no, he'll do without it. getting your ass kicked he'll like that. Well, make sure. That's how you know they're manipulated. There's okay. no way in hell you think that shit's hard. No way. Are you sure you can fit through the fucking door? Fuck you! Calm down, Seth. big boy. What's up, Dan? Give me a minute. Vineyard! No, I'll be out in a minute. He, he seems very different. Oh, come on, dude. Are you still here, Goodyear? You calling me a blimp, you fucking Democrat? <laughs> Sorry. The last time you actually Hearing that as an insult was just funny. <laughs> you gotta let me do this my own way, alright? I'll take care of it. Why does Derek seem so different? Come here, seriously. Look, forget this Yahoo, alright? He kills bugs for a living. You don't wanna be like that. No. I'm serious, it's not funny. Sweeney is a good teacher. You can learn a lot from him. So don't go fuck it up with small fry no, shit like Derek, that. You gotta Derek, be smarter than that. You don't understand, man. You don't understand. You gotta see the fucking bullshit paper no, he's making. I know right. all about he's it. Making... He told me all about it. I don't care. And you're gonna do it. You do anything he tells you to do. I mean it. I don't want you getting in trouble in school, trying to impress me, taking this shit in there, all right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Derek, can you please go eat? I'm fucking starving here. I mean, I- I don't I give a shit. Do... Go wait in the living room. I want him out of my house. I like how he listens all the time. But I guess that shows the manipulation. Just takes the orders. I mean, that dude, I fucking hate Seth. He's annoying as hell. God, yeah. Just fuck off, man. Imagine, huh? you won't even eat a black jelly bean. That's so stupid. Where you parked? God damn that computer. <laughs> Very old. Wow. It's just really weird because Derek doesn't seem like the same person. He looks big and completely off. What do you mean off? I don't know. He just seems uh different. Good different? In a sense. <laughs> I did see that coming. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh, man. Ooh. Mm. That's some real shit right there. Hey, let's go. Come on, we're not here to fucking socialize. Yeah, shut the fuck shit out, man. Archie Miller ran that grocery store since we were kids here. Dave worked there, Mike worked there. He went under, and now some fucking Korean owns it who fired these guys, and he's making a killing because he hired 40 fucking border jumpers. This isn't our fucking neighborhood. It's a battlefield. We're on a battlefield tonight. It's the language that he uses in the words. 
The thing is, Derek's smart and very well spoken. And that's why everyone listens to him and follows him. Yeah. That's it. It's the way he says the things too. And his choice of words, like I said, it's just... Dude, he was just getting his bread! Oh my god. The guy's bread. I think he was about to call him the N-word and then stopped and realized. Possibly. I, I, I swear I heard it coming. Or he said something else. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh my god. Why is he hitting bananas with a bat? What the fuck is wrong with I Seth? I don't even know. Was that Seth? No, it wasn't. No. Let me tell you, you can see Seth, okay? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that guy got hit hard. Like, what does this solve? Oh, God. Oh, my God. No, that is oh. Seth. Well, yeah, it is Seth. You could tell, like I said, you could tell. Yeah, he's massive, dude. So I feel so sorry for this woman. I feel like, I, oh, my God. Like, that's traumatizing. Dude, the whole shit's traumatizing. Yeah, of course, he's gonna take the burger. Imagine thinking that destroying a grocery store in some way is beneficial to any cause. It's just genuinely stupid. Oh my god. So stupid. I don't care what the cause is. Destroying a grocery store doesn't help it. No. Hey, it's crap. I don't oh buy that god. for a minute. Calling a riot an irrational. She's from National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. Oh my god. It's opportunism at its worst. It's, it's a bunch of people grabbing any excuse they can find to go and loot a store. Nothing more. You know, the fact that these people ripped off the stores in their own communities, all that reflects is the degree to which these people have absolutely no respect for the law at all, and certainly no concept of, like, community or, or civic responsibility. Wait a minute. White people commit crimes against white people, too. Yeah, but they're not offing each other in record numbers. Like, just, just, just stop. It's not a conversation for the dinner Who table. Likes and dessert? Oh. We're, we're having a discussion. We're having a nice discussion, right? No, no, you cannot. Don't interrupt. Excuse me, I was talking. I, I listened to you. Don't interrupt her. Oh, do you think you are? She's right in the middle of making a point. Who the hell do you think you are? Hey, Davina, sit down. Derek, sit down. Derek, Derek, be quiet. Shut up. Derek, get down. Sit down. Derek, no. Derek, calm down. Shut up. Don't tell him to shut, shut up. No, sit your ass down. You move. No, get on my sit way. Sit down. Derek. Shut Derek. down. Oh. Oh. Stay out of it. Come here. Uh, hey, uh, what do you think you're doing? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What are you Derek, let her go. You, you need to learn some fucking go! Are you gonna apologize? Are you oh gonna apologize? God. Are you? You're a fucking asshole. Oh, I hate you! Coming in here and poisoning my family's dinner with your Jewish, nigger loving. Uh. Oh my god. Oh man, Derek's unhinged as hell. What At some fuck? point, you have to realize See you can't this? argue ignorance. God, imagine that being a Jewish and seeing that, like, and being just, oh, oh. He handled it very well, though. Him? Disgust me. You know he that? did. Maury, I think his name is? He handled the situation very well. His girlfriend, too, looks like all she wants is chaos. But she was enjoying it. The more chaotic it became, like, it was kind of weird I feel so bad I'm for so mother. sorry Doris. I really am the fact that he's apologizing Christ man that's being the bigger man like but he has nothing he's to apologize gone. he's just a boy no no there it's like no wonder his younger brother has turned out the same way like cheese man that kind of environment, man? No actual proper father figure, so he that's, his... that's what he has to look up to, right? It's his brother, but you know what? Maybe his father wasn't any better, we don't know. That is true. Who knows what his father was like, but like... Uh, I mean, he's a fireman, he's saving all kinds of that's people, That's true, right? maybe his dad was okay, but... Maybe that's what made Derek so unhinged was the loss of his because father. Because he died in a, in a black community, he said, right? So maybe he just took that and just blamed it uh, blatantly. Like, nah, it seemed, like he, it seemed like he was probably like the right... What's the guy named there? Cameron or something 
think he was already in, in like too focused on Cameron's uh, teachings. Yeah, but that that didn't help either, right? If no, but the death of his father in a black yeah. community probably furthered his hatred. Yeah. He he, he found a, a reason to justify it. Hey, Dad! Oh shoot! No, no, no! Come here! Fuck you! Sabina, calm down! Calm down! Calm down! Put it on the curb right now! Oh my god, don't tell me he's going to curb stomp him! I don't want to look at that, dude. Oh! Dude, just hearing that. I don't even have to see it, just the sound. Dude, I don't want to see that. Can you imagine oh. how trauma. Oh, Christ. He understood, like he hated them and whatnot, right? But he didn't, like he didn't think he would do that to actual people. Like the curb stomp is just. Oh, dude, I could not watch that, man. Ah, oh. God, God. But it's sad that the the younger brother there. Like, he saw the whole thing. Like, he saw the whole thing, but he also blames himself for it. Oh my god, the kid with the salute too. Jesus. What? A Nazi rave kind of thing? Or mosh pit? What the fuck is going on? Not bad, asshole! I'm husky! <laughs> <laughs> sure, buddy. I'm husky. Let's go talk to Cameron, Danny. Father Vineyard, how's it going? Well, look who's here. The return of the soldier. Go wait outside. Come on, dear. I'm not doing anything. Come on, there's this little blonde girl. She's sitting out there. Go easy on her. All right. <laughs> I am done with it. All that bullshit out there and all your bullshit too. I'm out. And then you rolled over on two kids and let them go down for you. So don't feed me your fucking lies, Cameron. Oh, damn. Ooh, Cameron. If you come near Danny again, I will feed you your fucking heart, Cameron. I'm more important to him now than you'll ever be. Let's go, Derek. Let's fucking go. Fucking dead man, Vineyard. Just fucking kill oh, him, damn. Derek. Just fucking kill him. My God. But dude, it reminds me of like even higher learning. You know, these these people prey. Yes. They're predators. They they prey they on prey these on weak. the they prey on the mentally weak. That's what they do. Those and who are at their lowest. Because they know that they're Excuse easy to manipulate. Me. It's hey, scary as shit, dude. Hey, Derek! It is. Stay away from me, Stacy. Oh, fuck off, Stacy. Hey! Fuck you! Danny, easy! Who do you think you are? Dan, Dan, relax. Relax. Who do you think you are? Take it easy, Dan. Take it easy! I fucking hate you, Dan! All right. Shh, shh. I mean it. Huh? Hey, ah! come on! Come on! Shut up, shut up. Take it easy. What's happening there? Take it easy. Take it He's easy. He's growing the fuck up, you idiot. What's happening to you, Dare? He's learned to think for himself. Feedlot, back up and chow. Don't be late today, you piece of shit. Let's go, you want to eat there? After two days in that place, I didn't think I was going to make it a week. I think uh, raising that flag wasn't a good idea. It's basically just a massive target. Yep. You're asking to get your ass kicked. Don't fuck with me, all right? Because I'm the most dangerous man in this prison. You know why? Because I control the underwear. You ain't wrong about that. All right, we pick him up over here. 
and we saw him over there. And I hope you can work out, all right? Because the last guy they sent me didn't wear no drawers, couldn't read the sizes in the drawers, and used to sniff the drawers, all right? We got two what sizes, the medium fuck? and large, all right? All you got to do is put the mediums with the mediums. I was a year in. I thought I was cruising. Then everything started getting complicated. Chill out on the preaching bullshit, okay? We're getting a little tired of that shit around here. I know, I know. I'm just a dumb, stupid nigga, right? What do I know? I know I ain't the one getting mad at them damn sheets, though. <laughs> As a matter of fact, the only sheets I get mad at? I tell you. <laughs> no way. <laughs> All right, Lord, this is what we're going to do. We're going to hate some niggas. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Damn nigger, that's all we're gonna do is hate some niggers all day. I don't even know what a nigger is, but you know what? We're gonna hate him. My cousin Derek is <laughs> I don't even know what they, they are. are next to a nigger driving him nigger crazy. Oh my god. Come on, that was funny. You gotta laugh. Come on, Derek. James Worthy, the guy has a, a head like a melon, stretching out. No, you're okay. <laughs> I, can't even, I can't even talk to you. I can't, I don't even know what you're saying. You are tweaking. Boston, silk. It's finally coming out of his shell. Yeah. <laughs> My God. I lost count, man. Doesn't matter, man. All right, all right. Who's counting anyway? What the, what the fuck landed you in here? You didn't kill anybody. You're too skinny for a gangbanger. Oh, ain't that a bitch, all right? Man, I, I, I stole a TV, all right? So you stole a TV? What's embarrassing about that? I stole a TV from a store that was right next door to a donut shop, all right? I run out, the store owner's running behind me yelling, bam, I run into three cops, all right? <laughs> oh, see, see, I told you it was embarrassing your life. <laughs> wait a second, wait a second. That doesn't make sense. No, you didn't get, you didn't get six years for stealing a TV, man. Police officer grabs my arm, the TV falls on his foot and breaks it. They said I threw the TV at the office. Assault. Six years. Come on, tell the oh. truth. Like I said, I came out of the store, he grabbed my arm, it fell on his foot. That's crazy. I forgot about that, but my god. There you go, baby. There you go. That is just unfair, dude. Just because it fell on his foot six years. <laughs> but wow, it's it it's very interesting how Derek's ideologies changed just because he met a friend. Man, what the hell are you doing here anyway? Right? Well, I came to talk well, about. I also realized that the people yeah, he called his yeah. own hurt him the most. True. Well, what about him? You know, don't keep me in suspense. He's has anything you've done made your life better? Damn. That's a fantastic quote. Wow, that's a really good one. I think that's an, a question more people need to ask themselves. Mm-hmm. I agree. I owe you, man. Man, you don't be shit, I. Right? You'll be out of here in no time. Take it easy on the brothers, I. Right? The brothers. And I kept asking myself all the time, how, how did I buy into this shit, you know? And it's just because I was pissed off. And I'm tired of feeling pissed off, Danny. I'm just tired of it. And I'm not telling you what to do. I'm really not. But I need you to understand. It's time to take it down. Time to get rid of this horse shit, man. When you experience other people, right? Like, look, everything changed for him because he met a friend. And it made him understand. All it took, all it, he needed to do was talk. At the end of the day. Yup. And he finally realized that it was all an act. It was not an act, but it was all, like, a cover-up for his own anger. He didn't know where else to put it or where else to uh, kind of express his anger. Mm-hmm. So you fall for the bullshit because... You take your, your, ang you take your anger out on it. 
You're weak and not about they had like a master manipulator there too, right? Bro, the guy is a piece of shit. Oh no. Oh fuck no. It's nigger bullshit. Uh, you see that coming? Yeah. Uh, you gotta watch out for that. Yeah, well, oh I, I get what you're saying. That's sad. Uh, I actually literally forgot about this part of the movie. Boy. But yeah. Brody, it stems from his father and his teaching. I think he just clued in. Yeah. As to why. Oh my god. Why he easily fell for all the bullshit. It's because his dad instilled it. But it's like they say racism is taught. It is. It's not so, you're not born a racist. No. Right? Someone teaches you to be racist. You know, there's some form of an indoctrination of sorts. I literally forgot that, man, that his dad stems it all. Holy shit, dude, like... Explains everything. It really does. It, it's sad. Um, I'm glad they're not dead, but other than that, I don't care. Hmm. No. I'll see you at home. Right? See you later. There's no fucking way. <sighs> oh my god. The entire time I was thinking something bad's gonna happen to Derek. But nope. Fuck, yeah, man, yeah. I didn't see that one coming. I really didn't. Yeah, it's hard not to remember this ending, honestly, but man, it still, it still hits. Oh, God, man. <sighs> oh, fuck. Oh, God. Fucking oh, dumb. God. Why the hell is a kid shooting another kid? Like, what the fuck did he do? Stare at him? Like, literally did fucking nothing to him, but stared at him. So you shoot him? Oh, they just ended there. Yeah. That's the movie. Alright, dude, so you give your opinions first since it was your first time seeing it. I, there was a lot I actually forgot, but I was surprised, but go for it, man. So, the thing about this movie is like, ugh, oh my god, is it ever relevant, right? It's sad to say that this movie is still very relevant, uh, relevant, relevant to today, you know? And it, 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 it's just sad, you know? I feel like it, when was this movie made? A few years ago? You, know, you would hope there was some form of improvement. I don't think there's been any improvement. I think more than anything, it's gotten worse. And uh, there was one quote that, there that, that I really liked when he said, with everything that you've done, has your life gotten any better? I, I Right when I heard that quote, and I was just like, wow. You know, that question, asking yourself that question alone, I think is beneficial to every person. Oh, yes. Like, just look at it right now. Are the choices that you have made or that you are currently making in your life in beneficial? Improving your life. Yes. If like, not, maybe don't do it anymore. Maybe it's time to maybe figure things out. Yeah, change you know, things maybe out. get rid of the bad and start to add in maybe uh, something new. I loved that quote. It's such so a night. Nice, like, I, to be honest, it's, uh, it's a quote that'll stick with me. 100%. That's going to be a quote that sticks with yeah, me for a long time. Yeah, it was a very, like, oh, shit, that's a great quote moment. It's just, wow. Yeah. Not just that, but also, uh, the, the I feel like the biggest twist of all was that it all stemmed from his father. I didn't yeah. see that coming, because they, they, they made his father, turn like, 
seemed to be like this hero, this it, great it you, man. It made you think that his father he, dying in a black community, possibly you know by a black could have, person, could have aided in the the hatred. In the, yes, in, the in hatred. a sense, in a sense, it did. But his hatred stemmed from his father the whole time. Yes, it was his father's ideologies that he was giving out. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't see that coming. No, I totally forgot that part. Mm -hmm. A lot of the like, I remembered everything that happened in the moment, but a lot of the black and white, like the past stuff, I kind of liked how I they remember. did that. Though every time they go back to the past, it's always black and white. Yeah, you know, I really like that that curb stomp scene, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't. I'm so glad they didn't show that. Oh, you know, dude. I, was, I was expecting some kind of like no. Mortal Kombat X-ray shit. Bang, oh, you know, teeth on the concrete and everything. But man. But you know what? I gotta say that Derek is such a good fucking character. I have to say that. Such a, a man heavily felted. All right? Dude, Edward Norton played... He was so good. Oh, he, is he ever good, like, man? The, the way he could play the two personas perfectly. Yeah. Like, the... the, the uh, such a the, good actor. The, the, the reformed Derek. And the, the, the batshit crazy yeah. uh, Aryan race kind of Nazi Derek. Mm-hmm. Like, like, his anger when he was at the dinner table with... um. His mother was with that new man. That scene was very uncomfortable. Oh, God, yeah. Uh, he just wouldn't shut the fuck up and just let it go. It's like, dude, like, come on. And then, then we started to put his hands on his sister and be oh, aggressive Jesus. with her. Dude, and he even knocked his own brother down to the ground. No, but it, it, it also was a great example of him when he talked about why he was pissed off all the time. Yeah. He had no reason for and it. you saw it. You saw his unnatural anger towards and he, everything. Small things, he fucking snapped. He yep. was like let loose it, and he was ready to go. It didn't take much and no. Uh, it, it was just sad that his dad manipulated him with that. I wouldn't say manipulate. It it's it start it planted the seed. That's it. And it, then the Cameron guy, he full blown, he watered that shit. Yeah, he you know, grew it. I, I'm honestly sad that we didn't get to see Cameron get curb stomped, all right? Yo, That's one for guy. Real? I, I, dude, I fucking hated what was his name there? Uh Seth. I fucking hated Seth man. I have he was so annoying, dude. So annoying. If a guy like that ever came into my house, man, I would kick his fucking ass, all right? I, Get the I, hell out. Don't eat all my jelly beans. No. Once but that all. was the one part where you realize this whole thing's bullshit. It's like, he's so racist, he couldn't eat a black jelly bean. Oh, my God. That was so stupid. Holy. Oh. Imagine being that stupid. No, but, it, it, but it, when you see it, so, like, this whole kind of, like, it's very clear that this whole uh, thing is 100% a cult of sorts, all right? It, oh, no it's, shit. It's definitely a cult. You see that all these... They choose weak-minded individuals to bring in. That's what they say. Like, you know? it makes you... So it's you know, all the guys... So it's a, a lot of it, I guarantee you, a lot of it is kids being bullied. A lot of it is kids being bullied. Uh, those who are mentally weak. And they just take them, indoctrinate them, and kind of set them free afterwards. But the same could see a, be said about the, um... Even the, the gangs. The oh, gang, so, gang, so, gangs in general. Because you saw in that kid at the end when he shot Derek's younger brother. Oh, yeah. Like, it's like you said, all he kind of did was just stare at the Dude, guy. he literally he did... just stared at him. Staring at sure, a person. he also puffed smoke in his face. Like, I get it, but, like, he kind of just stared at you. Okay, he puffed smoke in his face because one, one for all, the guy was a fucking asshole. I'm beating not going to let I'm not going to The kid stuff. was a fucking asshole, right? Blowing some smoke in his face, you know what? He fucking deserved it. Fuck him, all right? But just because he blew a little smoke in your face and then he starts to stare at you now and then, I don't think that warrants a shot in the chest. At all. That was a little overboard. Now, I would have understood if he beat him up or something, made fun of him, or did something more to kind of, like, egg him on or something like that. He just stared at the fucking kid, and the kid shot him. Holy shit! It's the gang mentality. If someone disrespects you, you basically, you you bring it back to them. Like, you take the, you bring it back worse in a sense. You don't get disrespected by people. Oh, God, man. But, like, this movie had a lot of things that kind of, like... The... It, it made you really take the, like, the movie Higher Learning. It made me think of Higher Learning in, a, in another perspective. It makes it, it it kind of like the whole manipulation on a weaker mind. Because well, you saw the weaker mind. There was a difference in Higher Learning. You saw Remy in his weakened state. He's the state. weaker mind. You see the weakened mind. You see it. Yes. And you see the kind of person that they potentially shark. And it's worse nowadays. You know, when it comes to people being racist, no matter what race you are, you could be racist to people, honestly. You yep. see it all the time. And... It stems, I think, now because, like this movie was saying, like, oh, we got the internet. The internet has made this even easier. Oh, dude, it's made it worse more than anything else. It's made it so much easier to manipulate these young kids who are impressionable. They're ang They're just angry. It doesn't matter what it is or towards. But when you get, like, a whole thing that kind of points you in a direction, like, oh, yeah, it's okay to be angry directed to these people. Directed over here. Here's the thing. You should never direct your anger towards a 
in, uh, you shouldn't direct your anger towards an individual person or an individual. Well, if the individual, if the individual person okay, has caused okay. harm to you, I get it. The, but yes. like when you start just directing it just generally General, to an entire no, group, uh, the, the, when you start to generalize your hate, yes, that's when you're being a fucking stupid. All right, don't generalize your hate. You can hate the individual. This individual is an asshole. He treats cool. you like garbage. But yes. when you think of the broader picture, you start blaming. Oh. Let's start putting pictures together. Oh, like, putting things together. Oh, oh, he had big ears. Everyone with big ears oh. is a fucking idiot. I hate big eared people. They're horrible. Oh, look at him. He has big ears. I bet he's a fucking asshole too. Those Dude. goddamn elephants. Like, it really the, the, the best part of this movie, I'm going to be real with you, is the friend he made in prison. That yes. He, that guy, is. I, I, sadly, I can't remember his name. They, they never used his name much. Sad to say, they never no, dropped his name that much. But I, I they dropped it once. I liked, like, but like, but the way he, he met a good friend. And that said enough. He heard, he learned he heard his well, story, understood how like how unfair. His, no, but uh, dude, but you do you saw because like the whole time they're like, oh, black people are horrible, black people are this, black people are that. And then he met a black person, and, and he's funny. He's a good he's he's good company. He's a really seems like a really great guy. He's cool. And not even that, he knows that Derek what Derek is. He didn't give a shit. But dude, that reminds me of this guy who I watched. He do it like I did a TED talk and stuff. Yeah. He is this a guy, and he he, he was a, a, a black man. And he befriended people in the KKK. He befriended them, and through his friendship with people, he made several people quit. What? He, yeah, he, I, I will find you the videos. It's phenomenal to watch and listen to this guy. He befriended them all. He contacted them, befriended them. He went to their rallies and everything. He went and he hung out. He talked to them, and several of them quit. He keeps all the robes of all the people that quit. He has wow. them all. Yes. And it just it goes to show, like, sometimes you just got to talk to these people. They're so full of hatred. That sometimes just talking to them, listening to them, even if what they're saying is total bullshit, listen to them, talk to them, have a conversation, and maybe try to paint a picture and show them the world isn't what you think it is. Yep. Because that's the problem. The world is, doesn't need to be as hateful as you think it is. No, because he's told all the times, oh, black people are this, black people are that. So he never interacts with black people. He never understands black people. He's always like, oh, they're bad. And then after he starts interacting, it's like, oh, they're cool. They're, ju they're, they're just fine. Like they're just else. like they're just like anyone else. There's nothing different. We all have our own struggles. Poverty fucking sucks. Everyone knows this. Everyone, no matter what race you are, we all know poverty fucking sucks. That's the thing. No matter what race you are, no matter what gender you are, poverty's gonna fuck you in the ass either way. All right. That's it. All right. That's what I'm talking about. That's the word. That's you want. it. Poverty is fucking everyone in the ass. All right. And I think that's the biggest problem we got to deal with. Poverty. All right. It's just not good. All right. Okay, let's let's just try not to get demonetized. Do they like, chill? Oh, yeah, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I Jesus got really calm down. Man. I'm sorry, man. I just no. Like, I get it, but like, ugh. we're going very far. I wish we should probably do full reviews at this point. I'm oh my god, it's already ten minutes. I'm so sorry. Yeah, I, I, that's why I keep thinking about we should do full reviews for certain movies. Yeah. But um, at the end of the day, guys, I think we'll wrap it up now at ten minutes. Like this is going to be really long, long intro, long ending. Who cares? Yeah. Well, well it, it is. is it be what it be. If you don't want to listen to this, you'll, you'll just close it anyways. Yeah. So uh, it's fine. We're out. We're out. Uh, so TLDR, racism bad, poverty sucks, and um, be good to one just another. be good to one another. You know, yeah. try your best. Don't focus on the people. I mean, it's who not are... that hard to be nice to another person. My God, it doesn't take that much effort. I think it takes more effort to be angry and mean. No, and again, guys, do not rationalize generalizing your hatred. Just because you had a bad experience of a person of a race doesn't mean they're all like that. That's the most unintelligent, stupid thing that you can actually think Absolute of. Absolute troglodyte brain power being used right there. It, it's just stupid. You know better. You truly do know better. And on that note, we are going to peace on out. I love you all. Love each other. Just have a really good damn time and night. I love you. Bye. We love you. Bye. We love you more, Kenneth. Woo!